speaking of Mel Blunt, isn't there a story between you and him where I know you were benched uh, your first three years of your career playing nickel corner and then also playing some special teams? One, what is that story behind you and Mel Blunt? Didn't he take you aside and talk to you? And like, what did he say? Like, how were you encouraged as opposed to being discouraged in that point of your career? Yeah, I, I was discouraged, man, because, you know, everything I ever did, it was high, peewee ball, high, high school or college. I, you know, I was the captain. I was the captain of a football, baseball and basketball team in high school. Uh, and then when I went to college, I played baseball and football. So I was the captain of both of those teams. And then when I got to Pittsburgh, I, man, I had to, I was sitting on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> I said, man, I'm, I'm, I was the man all through my career. I said, I'm not, they said, what's up with that? <laughs> so I, I said, you know, why I can't start on this level? Uh, so I got a little discouraged, and, and Mel saw me at my locker uh, one day. And back in the day, they called you Rook. He hollered way across the room, hey, Rook. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, you going to deal with me? I said, oh, who, who, who me? <laughs> he, he said, yeah, you, yeah, you, you, you going to dinner? I, I'm a good businessman, so I'm gonna find out who paying. I said, you paying? <laughs> he said, yeah, come on here, you going to dinner? So uh, we got out, man. And he, talk, he said, he said, look, he said, look, darling, I've never seen anybody play the special team uh, uh, like you. You, you are a unique guy going down there making the tackle on the 25-yard line and and uh, and getting us in good position. You know, you're a nickelback. You're playing uh, on third down, and you're coming in on goal line. So he said, look, man, we, the, the last two years, they got knocked off the playoffs. Mm -hmm. They had gotten knocked out of the playoffs uh, prior to the 74. Right. Uh, and they had their jaw set, man. They were going to the Super Bowl. Mm. He said, look, you're doing a great job, man. I said, we need you. But everybody needs to do their job, mm. and that is your responsibility. That's your job. And we, if you keep doing that, we'll get to what we want to go. I, oh, everybody wanted to go. I said, yeah, I want to go. He said, well, <laughs> you're doing a great job. You know what, man? I, I really want to start. I just want somebody to tell me that I was doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Need that affirmation. And, that, and, and, and when Mel sowed those seeds of encouragement to me, I always try to, when I observe somebody, or especially young people, and I, and I see that God got the hand on him. He got talents and abilities. I always try to encourage him. I said, man, just wait your turn. Just keep working hard. Don't give up. It's a, always, it's a great, it's a, it's a plan for your life. Mm. You know, and, and Mel really encouraged me. And, and what he did was brought me back in the fold of a team. Mm. And now I understood the, now I understand the team concept. That everybody has a part to play in it. Where it's great part, where you where you out front, or you in 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 uh, not starting and coming off the bench like I was, you still um uh, he made me feel special, mm. 